T, 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 T. Yeah, I think so. <coughs> What am I doing today? Gary V, do we want to talk about Gary V? This a lot of left is in here cringing. Uh, at their own beliefs? No, they're not cringing at their own beliefs. Like, I mean, music in that, uh, music in that form is like, you know, always going to be a little, uh, a little different. Twitter to you, yeah. Just hoping it's on the home watch the end of my Gary V video. I think he would particularly enjoy the uh, finale, especially with the recent merch drop. I did, I did enjoy it. It was really good. Okay. This soon after I just had my little rant the other day. Before you watch this video, go to the Green Is Not Nick channel. Check if you've missed any of the recent uploads I've done. You know, I've uploaded a lot lately and the past few videos, not performing great. I'll say it. But I'm going to go back to something that the algorithm likes. And that's Jeezy VZ. Ah, T is good. <clears throat> I've recorded like three videos today. What's wrong with me? Gary V is a, uh, he's an enigma. He's sort of like the, what, someone made a video about him and called him Immune Cat, who watched watched my Gary V video actually. They made a video called Gary V, the youth pastor of capitalism. And I think that is just the perfect name for this crazy, crazy man. Go check out that video if you haven't yet. I'll put a link in the description. And today I want to talk about his obsession with garage sales and much more. Let's just jump into it. Philly D. Yo, can we get Philly D on the channel? If you guys are watching this, tell Philly D to-, to Guys, I didn't invent United We Bargain, div Divided We Beg. And neither did she. It's a very old fucking labor union slogan. To do a video with me. Let's just jump into it, Philly D. Let's just jump into a friendship, Philly D. Where's my headphone dongle? Headphone dongle, where are you? That voice crack was on purpose. <clears throat> Here it is. Headphone dongle, piss and poo. Prediction. Greatest garage sale of all time. That's a steep prediction, Gary V. <laughs> You're about to go to the greatest garage sale of all time? Um, uh, I don't think so. Let's see. How are you? How is it going? Good. Hi, I would love some lemonade. Thank you. You keep the change, okay? Fake spit take. Did he just give her a $20 bill? That's a lot more than lemonade costs. Whoa. Hey. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Worth 20 bucks. Take lemonade? Yeah. Good. He's about to be like, just fucking. Now I'm gonna sell this for $25 to the next sucker. Fuck you, kid. That's how you do it. Fuck you. Lemonade. It's not true. No lemonade is worth 20 bucks. Don't let them fool you into that. Cheap ingredients. A lemon. 50 cents. Water. Pretty much free. Sugar. A couple bucks. 20 bucks? I could buy Hollow Knight and still have $5 left over for five boxes of Walgreens candy. I, I would take that any day over lemonade. Have a wonderful day. You take care. CDs at 25 cents feels like another thing that needs to be discovered. What does that even mean? CDs at 25 cents. Hmm. CDs at 25 cents. Is he saying there's like an investment opportunity there? Like he could take those CDs and resell them? Because I don't think so, Gary. I don't think people are really buying used CDs anymore. That's right about the greatest garage sale ever. Got to pay. 20 bucks. Did you see her face? Mm -hmm. How awesome is that? That was my face in 1985. When that was my face in 1985 until someone ripped it off and put it on a young girl in 2022. I just forgot what year it was, legitimately. I was like 2021 and in my head I was like, no, it's later than that. And so I just, I just got the year wrong. Okay. And that bike rider dropped by and gave me a $10 bill. I'll never forget it to this literally for the rest of my life. So Gary Vee has this weird thing where he goes to garage sales and then like gives you freaking tips well, uh, on Joe Rogan oh God, no, is gone. I don't want to I don't want to talk about Joe Rogan. He just goes to these garage sales and makes these weird deals. Wait, was that leftovers or What the fuck? No, right? That was a different one of his like No, that's literally leftovers. 
<laughs> what the fuck? I don't wanna. I don't wanna talk about Joe Rogan. He just goes to these garage sales and makes these weird deals and acts like you could actually make a ton of money and make a business My podcast. out of it. Like, I'll show you this one. Here we go. How much for the cars? Oh, a quarter a piece. Quarter a piece. Hot Wheels quarter a piece. Let's see what he says. What if I took the two buckets? I like to keep the bucket. I'll put them in the bag. <laughs> no worries, you can keep the buckets. <laughs> Would you do 20 for both? No, I don't think so. <laughs> huh? So if they're 25 a pop, and he's saying, I'll give you $20 for both, then he's saying there's about 80 cars in there, which there's more than 80. So he's giving Gary a deal, <clears throat> a hot deal, a hot wheel deal. And Gary goes, mm, I don't think so. I don't think I can do $20. Go 15, <laughs> yeah, in the middle, all right. Gary cheaped this guy at a $5 for his Hot Wheels bucket. I know he's trying to make some point, like, you gotta learn to negotiate. But come on, you couldn't do $5? You couldn't help him out and just give him five bucks? I'm just predicting just these two. Out of the drillion. I literally bought- That's not a number, Gary, finance man. I'm just gonna give him, like, the worst bad faith arguments to everything just to combat him. Like, 200 Matchbox Hot Wheels. So he's saying you bought about 200. So that's a value originally 50 and he told the dude he couldn't do 20. He took away three fifths, he took away 60% of the price and said, I'll give you a, if you buy this in bulk, the guy said, if you buy this in bulk, normally I would be charging you 50, but I will take away 60% of this and I will give it to you for $20. And he said, mm, I can't do that. Collectible cars for $15 and I looked up one so far, this one. Oh shoot! And and it, you can sell. It sells for eleven oh four. Great, you made eleven bucks so far out of your fifteen. If you go through eBay system, taxes, fees taken out of it, and then you have to ship it off in a little envelope and do that work after you just paid fifteen dollars, and now you have a shit ton of Hot Wheels inside of your garage. Like, is that really what it's worth to you? You almost broke even. But let's look at this Hot Wheels tattoo machine bus. But you have to look at the fact that. This is just a pre-owned purchase. This just says he's selling it for 11 bucks, but you can literally go down, what Gary didn't show, is you can go down to a pre-packaged one, one that's literally still in the package, and this person's selling it for eight bucks, and his is not even in a- My man did the research, dude. He literally went in and looked at the nitty and the gritty. By the way, but it's, I didn't even think about that, but, yeah, it's all just the goal is Gary one obviously loves scamming people like he has to do it like it's not enough that he's charging like entrepreneurs ten thousand dollars just to fucking like steal their idea or take a percentage of ownership over their fucking idea only to give them back the ten thousand dollars if he likes the idea that's not enough he has to like fuck over people that like people who are you know selling their trash. He has to get one on them. And of course, he's not actually selling this shit. He's not gonna make money off of it. He probably dumps it in the trash afterwards or probably like whips an intern or something to like actually go and sell it on eBay or whatever. But like the point is he makes a video out of it and the video gets a million views because they're very compelling and very fun. Package and neither of these have sold. And they've been up for however long they've been up for. So it's BS. So this one's still prepackaged and it's selling for $4. Gary, baby, don't lie. You can get the same car for literally $4. And that's besides the point. The point is that it's funny that he tried cheaping that guy out of his purchase. Let's, that, that's the garage sale stuff. He has a ton of garage sale stuff. He loves garage sales. Literally, like, I didn't even know this before, but he completely lied about the value of it just to make it seem like you could actually make money off of it. But you can't, that person didn't make money. He posted that video however long ago. I think that video came out from like three years ago. Is that when, it, when this happened? Guys, I paid 50 bucks for all the cars, 50 bucks for all the cars. And this one is just 50 bucks by itself. Just this one. Did this motherfucker fly to New Zealand? He's like, what? <laughs> Bro! Bro! It wasn't enough. It literally wasn't enough that he was like fucking American yard sales. He's like, I gotta go to New Zealand and fuck the Kiwis, dude. There was a sale. There was a big yard sale. 
a lot of Hot Wheels to, to be to be purchased in New Zealand. So I flew out. First class ticket, three thousand dollars. Okay, let's see. <laughs> so he's saying Mattel Hot Wheels, nineteen seventy nine. Okay, so. He's saying that this was $50, which that's the starting bid. No one's actually bid on it yet, which means that this person is valuing it at that. But if you look up the same car, which right now that color, no, wait, that color's right here. That color's literally right here, 1973. This is the 1979 issue, I guess, but this one's even older and it's got the same design, except they don't have the flames on the top and it's selling for five bucks. The same car, but in blue right here, selling for 15 bucks. Oh no, here's the actual, this one has the flames on the top. This one says it's from 56, $13. No, this is the car right here. 56, high tail, Hot Wheels, vintage, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's four bids right now and it's at $6. So that actually shows where the market's at because the people are bidding on that and it's $6. He just straight up lies about how he can flip all this stuff and make money off of it, but he really can't. Let's see what else he lied about. Vintage 1983 Hot Wheels. Is it surprising that this guy fucking is really invested in NFTs? Gary got me looking at Hot Wheels on eBay for real. I've been spawned. Hey, everyone. As long as you watch a Gary V. Gum video, what the fuck is that? Crack ups. This one is really screwed up, but it's $1. Here's one of the police cars. 650 is the starting bid. No bids on it so far. But most of the other ones are just minimum prices where you have to buy it first. That doesn't mean they were actually sold by those people. Like these ones are just or best offer and they're not actually being bought by anybody. It's not like these things are being sold. Um, lot of two 1950s midge toy flatbed. I don't see the flatbeds, but I see a lot of the midge toy die cast 1950s and they're all going for $4, $3, but they're still all on bid or best offer but he's taking these expensive ones these 20 dollars ones which i'm sure he only got one of these it probably wasn't the lot of two and he's picking these things that aren't even being bid on and he's pretending like he could make the max amount of money off of each single one of these when most of them have been rolling around in a bin and aren't as high quality as these like way way rhymes responded why would you fucking link your own tweet to say Grimes responded? That is like ban worthy, dude. That's like you take a day off, sir. I should have timed you out permanently. How dare you, dude? How dare you? Still gonna check though. Nope. Nope. You gave me hope. That's the worst, dude. Worst of all, you gave me fucking hope. More. Wait, Gary V. Gum? I swallow every piece of gum. What? I've swallowed every piece of gum that I've ever chewed in my life. I don't think it's cool or anything. I don't think it's fucking amazing. What? It's just the truth. I think it's efficiency. I don't think I want to give up the hundredth of a second putting in a napkin. Okay, dude, that's like... That's a mistake. That's actually like... Holy shit, she's in here. Stop. Stop doing that, dude. Why are you doing that? Why the fuck are you... Why are you fucking, you know, getting me excited? Very upsetting. Swallow that shit. Paid $55 for cars, current minimum asks, plus current bids. So, no, like he's picking a lot of these are minimum asks. You can click on any of these. This is a minimum ask. Minimum ask means that no one has actually bought it yet. This is just what the person's asking for. This is a minimum ask. 
This is a minimum ask. Every single one of these is almost a minimum ask, and it's not a current bid. And he's saying he made $1,330 off of Hot Wheels and pin cars when he only paid $55. When if you actually tried to sell it, you probably would put in a shit ton of effort and end up with no more than like $200 maybe. Probably not even. Because most of these are in, like what is this? Lot of 44 Hot Wheels Matchbox? Why are you including this $10 random thing? Do you have that exact amount of 44 cars? Like even if he's correct about any of it, which he's not, and he actually took the time to try to sell them, most of them would not sell for the max amount you could get it for. And then you still have to spend the time to ship it out and package it up and make sure nothing gets damaged on the way. And all the time that takes, and people think that they can just go to a garage and grab all this crap and they're gonna make a ton of money off of it. I know that's the point. The point is to get kids to be like, I can be an entrepreneur. I just gotta show up to a garage and waste all my money on this crap and I'm gonna flip it for a ton of money. So yeah, there's my rant. I think that the trash talk stuff Gary's doing is kind of disingenuous. I feel like he's pretending like he can get a lot more money off of this crap than he can because he just picks the amount that someone is asking for it and assumes that that's what it would actually sell for. He's taking what one person is saying a product is worth and acting like that's the market price for it when it's just not because it still has to sell, Gary. It still has to sell. Anyways, thanks for watching. Well, the whole point is that the, the real value for Gary, obviously, is the fact that those videos get a lot of views and he makes money off the AdSense. And, uh, like, <laughs> there is no planet. I really do hope that at least he, like, scammed some of these fucking entrepreneurs that he, that, like, see him as their hero into, like, going to yard sales and, like, haggling. Because at the very least, if that is the case, At the very least, you know, you got some people that are able to unload their trash on unsuspecting weirdos. Thanks for watching, Azan. Dude, this is a great video. Keep it up. You ratioed her, Lamau. I just, I did it for, I did it for good reason. LSF top post, old Reddit, destiny on Hassan's Rittenhouse trial take. Wow, dude, definitely seems worth my time. Definitely seems like I should probably watch this. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to do that, okay? <laughs> Gary's eBay likely sells things for well above what they're worth because they're... What's up, dude? Are you going to make an NFT out of it and sell it? Is that why you want me to fucking uh, react to it? Huh? Is that what's going on? Trying to fucking... Trying to fucking push the stink away? <laughs> yeah. Elizabeth Moss just ignore their rule too. I don't fucking know what it is, but almost certainly going to get removed anyway. Yeah, no shit. It's probably fucking straight up uh, politics, right? I mean, I suspect. Um, what would us? Oh, it's Elden Ring time. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Uh, uh, plus your white, plus ratio, plus is Elden Ring uh, watch time. I have not seen it yet.